aligning your polar alignment scope next. Hello and welcome, my name is Doug Hubble and today we're going to talk about polar alignment scope alignment. Now you would think that the polar scope wouldn't need alignment but it does and I recommend doing this about every six months to make sure that you're getting your exact track on Polaris. And it's very easy and I'll show you the steps on how to do this next. You'll need to make sure that your, your mount is level and make sure the mount is level before you begin and then also what you'll need to do is the counterweight bar you'll have to remove that and when you pull that counterweight bar what it does is down the center of there it, it, it's kind of blocked right now but you have to loosen um, declination knob here and you just turn it until you see the hole and then once the holes available then you can see through the uh, polar alignment scope out at the point where you normally would uh, image or set up you want to bring it down level so you can point it off onto a distant object across from you we're going to point a target up over there so it's important that you remove that front declination I mean front uh, altitude knob altitude knob removed so we can get it level to look at a distant target we'll have to get a piece of paper out and draw a target on there so we'll just make a little black marker and make a dot on a piece of white paper like this. So we'll take our target and we'll put it on on the fence over here and we'll begin our polar alignment. Get that dot aligned up on the crosshairs. Okay so once you've got your target aligned with your polar alignment scope off in the distance over here what you do is you look through the uh, polar alignment scope make sure that the reticle is right on top of the mark you've made off in the distance and then what you do is you take your mount and you move it 180 degrees now when you make that movement of 180 degrees that reticle should not move off the spot if it does move off the spot then you have to use these adjustment screws here on the reticle there's three Allen adjustment screws now be very careful when you use these only use very small adjustments because a little goes a long ways and then you can move it and when you got it aligned then when you move it 180 degrees it will not move off of that reticle centerpiece and then you have a aligned polar scope three Allen screws that are on the edge of the polar finder scope and when you do is if you move these in and out it will adjust the reticle so you can then get that uh, reticle square on the center so what your your goal is to do is your your goal is to be able to turn the uh, the scope 180 degrees and if you turn it 180 degrees and that reticle stays in the center then you know your polar alignment scope is aligned Take your time when you get to this point of adjusting your polar alignment screws. It takes a little bit of time to get that right on target. Having your polar alignment scope aligned is something no one ever really thinks about and it's a very important for astrophotography to get that polar alignment dead on. So take your time, get your polar alignment scope aligned if you haven't done so already. And once you do that, then you'll have a better start for tracking the uh, night sky on the, on the stars. Now, if you have any comments or suggestions on, on how to better do this, please leave them in the comments below. That helps everyone else. Also, if this is the first time you're watching, I would like you to subscribe. I publish two astrophotography videos on the 1st and 15th of every month. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.